Guru Larry merch now available at pixelempire.com. Use the code Guru Larry to receive 10% off and buy now to win a Nintendo Switch. There's some well-known influences for games consoles. For instance, the design of the Mega Drive was based on Ferrari, and the Atari Jaguar seems to be based on a toilet seat for some strange reason. But there's one design influence of a system that's incredibly gross, and has been staring in your face for so long that once I tell you, it can never be unseen. The Nokia Engage. Now, the N-Gage has been pretty much thrown to the wayside in recent years in the retro community, but for those of you unaware of the system, it was a pre-smartphone concept where Nokia thought they'd merge mobile phone technology with a rather powerful handheld game system for its time. Heck, it even had a borderline perfect port of Tomb Raider running on it. Its library of titles were quite ahead of its time, releasing games based on YouTube influencers a whole 16 years before Ryan's world got his grinning child face on one. Hello! Two years before YouTube even existed, come to think of it. But on the other hand, the Engage also had its bout of idiotic design issues. Such as, in order to change game cards, you'd literally need to dismantle the entire system to get to the card port. And even worse was, whenever you needed to actually make a phone call on a thing, you'd need to hold it sideways, making it look like you were wearing a giant comedy Prince Charles ear on the side of your head. But what's never been discussed before was the design influence of the console. As I stated in the title, it was influenced by an early noughties internet meme. I mean, just look at the machine. Can you guess which one? Trollface? <coughs> no. All your base? No, absolutely not. Well, prepare to never unsee it. The influence of the Nokia Engage is... Goatsy. For those of you who have never heard of Goatsy, it's a rather infamous image going all the way back to 1999, allegedly of a gentleman by the name of Kirk Johnson, and posted on the front page of shock site Goatsy.cx or Goatsex, to give the site its full name. However, the image itself is actually called Hello.jpg. Goatsy went viral in the early noughties, and was used in a bait-and-switch, rickrolling type way. You know, oh, check out this interesting article. Boom! Image of a man showing his bumhole. But as the years went on, the meme evolved into trolls trying to sneak the image into as many pieces of public media as possible managing to fool multiple companies over the past 20 years, from the BBC to, in this case, Nokia. But that's the history of Gosi. If you're wondering how a handheld console came to resemble a man holding open a gaping arsehole, it's all down to clueless mismanagement, lack of direction by the higher-ups, and good old-fashioned passive aggression. The whole concept of the Engage was a project no one at the company wanted to do. At first, Nokia wanted to make a standalone handheld to rival Nintendo, but management suddenly realising they were actually a mobile phone company wanted to shoehorn that into the system as well. But not wanting to invest a more powerful processor to accommodate the two than completely polar concepts, the higher-ups told their engineering team to shove a Game Boy in a cell phone they had already created. Also, for some bizarre reason, management weren't too happy about having a console-style control system for a phone-slash-handheld hybrid. Obviously, the design needs 12 buttons for it to function as an actual phone, but that wasn't enough for Nokia. They kept demanding more and more buttons on the system, going back and forth with the engineering department, until they were finally satisfied with a whopping 25 in the end. And then, the design issues arose. How on earth could you stick 25 buttons on such a small device and not make it look ridiculous? So, another bout of endlessly going back and forth began between management and engineering, constantly rejecting design after design, until engineering had finally had enough of the higher-ups' indecisiveness. One designer thought, screw it, and for a laugh did one final concept of the console resembling a certain person holding open a perforated sphincter and promptly left the project. To his dismay, the management absolutely loved it. So out of fear of losing his job of fooling them into releasing such an embarrassing design, kept quiet, 
praying no one would ever realise what it was actually based on. Which, amazingly, no one ever did. The only thing Nokia ever did realise was what a huge mistake the design of the original N-Gage actually was. Ironically, thanks to the side-loading meme that arose thanks to its idiotic build. So, less than a year later, they introduced the N-Gage QD. This iteration finally let you change games without having to dismantle the thing and engage in phone calls like a normal person. Unfortunately, they didn't base the new design on Mr. Hands. But, you get what you're given in this world. Hello you! Thanks ever so much for watching! Be sure to subscribe to be first to see future Fact Hunt episodes. Click on the bell if you already are to make sure you're notified, and be sure to check out my other episodes. And if you want to be super awesome, check out my Patreon. But thanks again for watching, and I'll be seeing you next time. Ta-ra for now!